feeling that you don't know which information was stolen. And probably there are the other attacks of this nature that exploits this imbalance of power between the guy that creates a public key and knows the trapdoor and the rest of the world. And technology can be used and abused. Technology is neutral. It's what we make out of it. Crypto API was not generated by Microsoft for my collaborator Adam to write a virus. But you can do it. Public key cryptography was generated for encryption and signature, not for these attacks, but you can use it for the attacks. Ransomware has been used. I think also the, the, the deniability has been used in some way. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are in the area of detection of such attack, the use of availability of technology should be well controlled and managed, not from the point of view of government control, but uh, as an operational control on, on, on a system. Access control, who does what, and nobody, it's not that if you run your system and you manage it, you have to know which parts of the system are allowed to do what. There's something about st threats. Always look for new possibilities of attacks. It's very, very easy to come after the attack and say, ah, there was an attack. The, the idea is, is to predict attacks 10 years before they occur and, and respond to them before they occur and not just be reactive, you know. Zero day attack. Be ready for them, if you can, if somebody told you. And every, everything around us, system, internet, and so on, everything, attackers are getting more sophisticated. We need to be proactive. Uh, so I call this, uh, I titled this talk, Yes, We Can't. Why Yes, We can Because crypto has positive applications. And then cryptovirology showed negative applications. So we can do great things with, with crypto, but it can also prevent us from uh, foiling certain attacks. So it has negative applications. But then we can take cryptovirology and turn it, malware and crypto as technology, and employ it in a positive way. So you can turn cryptovirology to produce distributed agents that are robust, survivable, for example, or nobody knows what they do. So you do distributed computing, and even though something, somebody does the work for you, he doesn't know what you do. And you can turn kleptography to key recovery methods that don't use additional work than just generating a key. So there are also positive, so the negative applications have positive applications, if you wish. So, you know, it's a strange world. So yes, we can. Conclusion, further conclusion, assurance of systems component is tricky business. Cryptographic crypto system show this. Uh, there are implications for testing, black box testing, impossibility of black box testing, and uh, complexity of trust relationships in a system. And when suggesting new trusted hardware or new software that you want to trust, be careful, as I said already before, but it won't hurt if I say it again. And we need to be ahead of the attackers if possible. So usually uh, talks end with conclusions, but I will end with in conclusion. What is trust? Again, Ken Thompson already in 84 show us, showed us problem with trust. The title of his paper is Trusting on, you know, on Trusting Trust. Cryptovirology, some bridges of trust. Recovery is at the mercy of the attacker. Yes, we can do it. Yes, we cannot do it. 
on the inside of the system. Cryptography, trust relationship go beyond the boundaries of the system. You have to trust offline elements, the designers, the manufacturer, and so on. Yes, we cannot just trust black box component. Trust is very tricky in Ocean, and if somebody claims they understand it, they probably don't. Thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you for the talk. I'll finish the talk now. Thanks a lot.